All right, good evening. This is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center. It is eight in the evening, 8 p.m. in the evening on Tuesday, July 13th, 2021. 8 p.m. on July 13th, 2021. And we have a warning that we were talking about a couple of days ago. And uh, finally, at that time, it was a possible strong earthquake in Southern California. Now we're looking at a strong earthquake. Actually, this is the spot we're expecting it is right down there. It's now likely, let's look, look at the forecast map here and you can see this is the 13th through the 15th. So during the next 48 hours, we're looking for a 6.0 to 6.5 earthquake is likely in Southern California. And this quake should hit right near the uh, Salton Sea. And you can see the highest risk is right here south of uh, El Centro. And if you see this quake here that just hit down here in, uh, this one is, uh, here's El Centro and this quake just hit southeast of Mexicali and southeast of El Centro. Well, that happens to be the highest risk area is just southeast of El Centro. And you can see that in the forecast map right here is the 98% risk and then 95, 92, 89 and so on. So the highest risk is down near east of San Diego and near the Salton Sea. And we should get some action there and some foreshocks in the next uh, few minutes, the next hours. Uh, this warning is for during the next 48 hours and I expect it to hit sooner than later. So let's take a look. Uh, so that uh, warning is out for tonight, next 48 hours, uh, 6.0 to 6.5 earthquake is likely in the next uh, 48 hours in Southern California. Let's take a look at the other forecasts from the, the world. And we'll start with uh, Alaska. Alaska, we have an area here uh, northwest of Anchorage and a high risk there of 5.0 to 5.5 is possible there northwest of Anchorage during the next 48 hours. Down near Chile, the risk is centered here uh, southeast of Antofagasta and northeast of Copiapo. Copiapo is right about here. This is the highest risk area here. And I think we just got a 4.9 in that area. Let me see. We've been getting some quakes around that region. And the strongest one so far is right here, northeast of Copiapo and southeast of Antofagasta. It's right in our highest risk area. Uh, this forecast map is for the next uh, 48 hours as well. So that's where they're hitting and that's where it should continue to hit is that general area there, northeast of Copiapo. All right, let's take a look at our next forecast, which is in Italy. And we could get a 5.0 as possible east of Sicily here in Southern Italy during the next 36 to 48 hours, east of Sicily. All right, in Japan, the risk is uh, just uh, northwest of Aomori and southwest of Sapporo near uh, the uh, Hokkaido area of Japan. And this could produce a 4.0 to 4.5 during the next 36 to 48 hours. That's where the highest risk is, Northern Japan during the next 36 hours. In the Philippines, the risk is Here's uh, Manila right here, just north of Manila. So Northern Philippines is the highest risk area, risk area and a 4.5 is possible in Northern Philippines during the next uh, couple of days. And in Athens, Greece, a 5.5 is possible in Southwestern Greece during the next 48 hours. Southwestern Greece, here's Athens is right in here. And it should be west of Athens here in Southwest Greece during the next uh, couple of days, next 36 hours or so. And Hawaii, risk is just kind of a general risk uh, in the northern part of the islands. Um, not extremely high risk, but uh, just a general moderate risk right now in Hawaii. In Central America, very high risk uh, near El Salvador and uh, Honduras and Eastern Guatemala. And that extends into Western and Northwestern Nicaragua and extremely 
southern portion of Mexico, but the highest risk is centered near El, uh, El Salvador right now in the next uh, couple of days. In Indonesia, the risk is in, here's Jakarta right here, and here's Sumatra, and this is centered in central Sumatra. That's where the highest risk is, and a 5.0 is possible in that area. Taiwan, the risk is pretty high across all of Taiwan right now, and you can see we've been having some uh, uh, these maps, by the way, most of these maps, about 80% of these maps were put out. Let's see if we can zoom into Taiwan here. Were put out uh, yesterday. So these maps were based on data from uh, yesterday's data, but are still valid for the next couple of days. So we can saw, we saw uh, four significant earthquakes in Taiwan, 5.2, 4.7, 4.4, and 4.7. And that makes sense because the risk is very high across Taiwan right now during the next couple of days. 70 to 75% risk. In the state of Washington and Idaho and Oregon, the highest risk is in the far Northwest, Northwest of Seattle in Vancouver Island during the next couple of days. And in Turkey, The risk is, well, it's centered down in southwestern Greece, but you can see it's kind of spilling into western Turkey, but the highest risk is in uh, southwestern Greece right now, and pretty quiet across uh, the rest of uh, Turkey during the next couple of days. And in the Caribbean, high risk in the far southern portion of the Lesser Antilles down near uh, Martinique, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines and the Grenada, <laughs> Trinidad, Trinidad and Tobago. So the southern portion of the Lesser Antilles is the highest risk and at about 70% risk right now. 4.0 to 4.5 is possible during the next couple of days there. New Zealand, the risk is in the far northwest part of New Zealand right now where a 5.5 is possible, just off the coast here of New Zealand during the next couple of days. And one more map before we go back to California is uh, Peru and Ecuador. And you can see there's a very high risk down in the southern portion. Lima, Peru is, uh, I believe it's right up in this area right here. And this is in the southern portion of Peru could get a 5.5 earthquake during the next uh, 36 hours or so. We'll have another video tomorrow. Let's go back to California and check this current forecast uh, earthquakes right now. So the uh, high risk, uh, we have a warning out for Southern California for 6.0 to 6.5 is now likely because it, uh, the risk has uh, reached a peak during the next 40 hours, most likely to hit tonight the highest risk is actually tonight. And then, uh, so we should see this during the next 48 hours, especially tonight is the, the highest risk is tonight uh, from the 13th into the 14th. And the highest risk you see is way down here, uh, east of San Diego and uh, southeast of El Centro. And we, we, I believe we got a foreshock with this quake right there, that 2.9 hit where the rest of the quake should hit of course, um, a very high risk is extended across uh, Southern California, but the highest risk is right there where this quake here hit the 2.9, which that should be a foreshock to a bunch of quakes that are gonna break out across Southern California during the next uh, few days. So uh, we will update you tomorrow um, with more information on this and uh, we should get that uh, either some bunch of foreshocks tonight or a significant earthquake from 6.0 to 6.5 during the next uh, 24 to 48 hours. So we'll keep you updated and we'll give you an update uh, tomorrow, most likely. Thanks for joining us. And we thank you so much for, our, for your support. And we will talk to you again tomorrow on July 14th, Wednesday. Stay safe and uh, see you soon.